Hey guys, welcome back to some more Metro 2033. Uh, final episode. Now we're gonna finish it up. What's kind of cool is, uh, this looked like lava or something to me. I don't know if I mentioned this last episode. This looks like, this is cool. This is where all the dark ones are and shit. It's their home now. Alright, well, let's, uh, figure out a way to get to the other side. Hey, what's up? Shouldn't be that hard to get up here. This requires a couple of quick time events. I think that's cool as hell, though. So we can actually literally see where the dark ones live from here. And I don't really know how we're climbing this pipe. But we are. And let's knife this ice. It's a much bigger knife than anything I seem to have. I wonder what my ranger fella buddy is doing. Is he like, holy shit, are you okay in there? You must think I'm dead. I, I kind of like the ending though, here. It's kind of cool. And we're finally at the top. So now they're kind of fucking with my mind. And they're getting me to run around. This is kind of cool. I like this. <laughs> Trying to kill me with her mind. Pretty awesome. You will be, you will be stopped. And no intro text. Kind of fucking insane. So nothing over here. Oh, that they. they I, this is brilliantly done. I actually really like this part. He cannot be. He cannot be allowed. Oh, they're chasing me. Oh. Stop him, stop him. And now I'm turning in the other direction. So this is kind of cool, I like this. So we're going around in circles constantly. I can do this until the end of time. It will never stop. However, if I turn around. Hey, hey. Cool, huh? He's coming to, he's coming to destroy us. Optical illusions that just fuck with you. I love it.
You don't want to go towards the red. The red is bad. Also, the FOV kind of has a fisheye effect here. It's kind of weird. You, you probably noticed this. I don't really know why this is. You know, I should have fallen off that platform like he's coming to, he's coming to destroy us. ages ago. Surrender, surrender. It's a really cool illusion too. Uh oh. Destroy, destroy him. He's coming to, he's coming to destroy us. This is quite well low. I don't know how I fell through that. Kind of just face through the, the floor there. Okay, here we go. MLG jumping again. There we go. I did it that time. Wait for this shit to come in. There we go. And let's not go here. Yeah, I'm not really phased by what they're saying in my mind because I hear that all the time. I just close my eyes. You reap what you sow, Artyom. Force answers force. War breeds war, and death only brings death. To break this vicious circle, one must do more than just act without any thought or doubt. 20 seconds to homing procedure completion. Pain, pain, death, death. Prevent, prevent, save. save. 10 seconds to homing. Procedure completion. He does, not, he does not understand. He can stop me. We want peace. We want peace. A.G. Wells once wrote, if we don't end wars, wars will end us. And somehow, I stopped my war. At the time, I couldn't say what had made me spare the Dark Ones, but I came to realize that the strange visions that haunted my journey were their attempts to reach out to us. I don't know if I was the first to communicate with them, but I will not be the last. And the future, our future, stretches before us like an endless metro tunnel. Well, that's the end of my uh, Metro 2033 LP. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you had a good time. Uh, if you clearly watch it to the end, uh, obviously it's not quite the same as uh, playing it on your own. It's, you know, me talking a little bit and the fact you don't play it on your own is that uh, breaks kind of the immersion. I highly recommend it. It's, it's absolutely fabulous. I actually, I, I played it first um, a couple months ago, maybe for a little bit. No, actually, no, I don't think I've ever done it. No, no, yes, yes, I've, I did for a little bit. I made it to a certain point and then I just kind of, I don't know why, but I stopped. I don't, know, I don't know why I stopped. It was the same thing, I guess, with Al. You know, this is actually ironic because I'm doing Alice at the same time. Same deal with that. I stopped at some point. I don't really know why. And then I, it, it, it was just something I, re I really liked the game, but it was I just never continued it. But uh, I really like it, and uh, I can't wait for uh, Last Light. Uh, 
and I will be doing that for you guys as uh, right when it comes out. So if you want to see the the sequel to this, uh, you just stay tuned and we'll do that. As for this one, um, what did I like? What did I not like? What I didn't like was definitely the ending. That challenge wasn't really there, and it was weird because it was like. There was that place you had to escort that guy, and that was just irritating. And then I love the immersion all the way through, and I wish they had more of that. They could have just had that right until the end, and then it would have been nice. But this last one was like very kind of cutscene-ish. So, um, although you know, they good effort on those uh, uh, like little illusion things. I really like those. That's uh, that's unique. Uh, as for this ending, this ending is apparently not canon. Uh, what he actually does is, um, the reason why I got this ending to begin with was because I, uh, I got enough morale points. And, uh, I was good. Basically the entire time. So. Uh, but this is, this is not actually what happens. He actually destroys it. And that's what he does. Uh, so that, that's, that's just something that's, uh, interesting to note. Um, so this is, this is technically the good ending, but the bad ending is actually what happens. Which he, he actually does nuke all the Dark Ones, so the Dark Ones cease to exist. This is uh, I have to watch more credits. Um, so yeah, he he does actually nuke them, uh, and I didn't actually in my first run through of this, which is on uh, it's a available VOD. I, I don't think you really care to watch me play it a second time, uh, but it's it's there. I, I got actually the um, the evil ending, and not intentionally. I was actually looking around for those morale things. So um, this time I, I looked around a bit more. Uh, so, you know, I found them. I was listening to more conversations because that always seems to give some as well. Uh, and, and it looks like it appears I got enough, so... Hooray! I, I got both the endings. Kind of kind of happy about that, so... Um, very well done, though. Uh, it's very well done. I've, I've never heard of the company that made this originally. THQ no longer exists, but it looks like that wasn't actually the developer. They were just the publisher. So the developer, it's like 4X Games or something. I don't know what they are, but... um. Never heard of them, but they did a really good job. Um, unfortunately, a little bit on the console porty side. Uh, that's that's the unfortunate part. Um, things, a lot of things are binded to one key. The FOV is super small when you start out. It should not be that small. It's it was eye hurtingly small, and I don't know why in my first run I didn't bother to change it, but I did now, and it's uh, it's it's much better honestly with the higher FOV. Um, and, you know, some of the controls are a little bit stiff, maybe, but, you know, it's good otherwise. I really like these, these the, the ranger difficulties, though, because, you know, the fact that you get no UI, um, I like those games with no UI. It's kind of nice, because then there's, like, nothing on the side of your screen, and it's just, you know, it's kind of like, it's that's the most kind of immersive experience, in my opinion. So, like, I don't, I don't really see how it's a problem. I think I think more devs should try and do stuff like this. Yeah, based upon a novel. So if you want, you can read the novels or buy the games or you know whatever whatever you want to do. Um, at any rate, it's it's really quite well done. Uh, would have, I would really highly recommend it. Uh, it's it's good. It's really good. Oh well. So uh, last light comes out next weekend. Uh, I'm gonna be doing that. My typical blind-ish kind of a thing. Like I'll I'll play the first hour on my own and then show you. Uh, everything else after that, so at least I understand the game and go through it. So, if you want someone to watch for that? That's eh, I'm here, <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. Probably gonna be same kind of play style. Uh, it's never. Uh, as for the weapons, actually, I, I can't talk about that for a bit. Yeah, so I did. I did veer away from the DLC ones because I didn't think they were balanced very well. I thought they were just kind of released like without much thought. But maybe that wasn't really the case because I, you know, I didn't really have much trouble with the librarians at all. Uh, it's supposed to be, it's honestly genuinely supposed to be hard and it really wasn't. Um, the hardest part in the game was probably, as I said, uh, me escorting him and I did it on the first attempt, so. Eh. Oh, it's a series I really like and I and post-apocalyptic games like this are really neat, so. Well, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.